Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Colonel Lampol Gabriel. I'm the deputy military spokesperson of the SPLIO. I am here in uh, Mangalatore, Keji Keji, to come and see exactly what happened uh, because there have been an allegation from Rulwai that uh, we attacked uh, their forces who were moving from Mangalatore to, to, to Bori. Uh, th- this is a blatant lie. Um, Mangalatore is our base. From what I know, I've been in Kejigaji for quite a long time, since last year. Our base was in Bori first. Uh, when we signed the session of facility, uh, the government came and uh, pushed us out of Bori up to uh, Agana. We clashed in Agana for quite some time. After the session of facility was signed, we reported several times to, 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 to the citizen to come and investigate. City of Mimel came up to Mangalatore here and investigated exactly what happened. Uh, not to waste my time on uh, argument on who is who and who is not. The truth is here, we are for peace. Um, sending out the message of peace from the SPLIO on behalf of our movement that we are here for peace. We are not for war anymore, but we are entitled to defend ourselves. I've moved from uh, Kijikeji. I went up to, uh, to, to, to lunch. Uh, Jamara Center is where the government is at the moment. We're in control of Kupera. We're in control of Jamara Saba. We're in control of uh, Mundu. And uh, the other side. The government claimed that those were their territories. I was in Kupera 2016, 2017. This year, earlier, I was in Kupera, even in Jamara Saba. These people are only, they were only based in Limbe and Pokule. But they organized and came from Juba to Ye, gathered the forces from Ye, and came to attack us because they just want to come and install a commissioner of Kupera. That, 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 that is after signing the permanent ceasefire and also after signing the, 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 the final uh, revitalized uh, peace agreement or the revitalized arses. So, from what we are seeing, uh, it looks like as if the government is not for peace. They, they want this war to continue. There are people who want to continue looting our resources. They want to continue making our civilians to suffer. We are not going to allow that. Even if they give us war, we will give them peace. We will not attack their base. We will remain because we have been ordered to remain still. And I'm here to make sure that happens that we don't move from one place to another. But this attack should stop, because if it does not stop, we will be forced to also get out of our trenches and move forward. Because when, 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 when you're beaten twice, you will have to pay back the third time. You cannot be allowed to slap yourself or to be beaten three times, unless you're not a man. I don't believe in the jungle law, but when they come to defending myself and defending our territory, and our civilians, it is paramount to us, the SPLIO. So, to South Sudanese community worldwide, in South Sudan, we give you peace. You wanted peace, we brought Dr. Red out of uh, prison, he's in uh, Khartoum, he signed a peace agreement, we are so proud, as a movement. So, this peace look shaky. Uh, this peace will implement it page by page. Uh, from our side as SPLIO. But we don't know what the government would decide and what they will know, but we request them also to think about the suffering of these civilians. The civilians have suffered enough. We don't want them to continue suffering. We want them to also come home and enjoy the fruit of this country. Um, on behalf of the SPLIO, I thank everybody and I wish you peace in this country. Thank you.